we have another example in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood of a destructive house. And here it sits. It's been here for years. What are we doing about it? No, we're going to put money in a golf course instead. Crazy. Again, this example of what's going on in our neighborhoods, it's glaring. Yet we're putting, the city is talking about putting a program in place to repair our golf course. We're not going to repair this first. This has been four, five, six years anyhow that this has been like this. We want people to move into our neighborhoods to bring up their families in a safe environment, a clean environment. Would you move here on this street? Would anybody move here? I think they'd have to have their heads examined first before they would want to do this. Let's clean up the city. Let's get a program in place so when we have buildings, like I've pointed out, that they're taken down in a reasonable amount of time, like the building on Eastern Avenue. That was taken down within a month, within a month. Yet this, pro this building sits here for years. The one on Broadway sat there for two years. Why is my question, why? We need programs in place so this doesn't happen. We want to build our tax base. The only way to build a tax base is to have nice, clean neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods. This isn't it. This certainly is an example of it. And this is a well-traveled street on, on Cutler Street. Very well-traveled. People cut through here all the time, and this is what they see. This is an example of Schenectady's neighborhoods. It's not good, and it shouldn't be. Now, Dan, since this is your neighborhood where you live, what do you think about this this building that's been over here that your kitty corner took? Uh, it's unsightly. There's been drug dealers in there. They caught on fire once or twice. Yeah. They just keep kneeling it back up. People use that front porch for a stash right there. So people squat it. Oh, I don't know if anybody's yeah. living there right yeah. now, but they yeah. have in the past. They have. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't understand why people that pay taxes have to be subject to a building like this yes, in, the in their neighborhood. And especially, it didn't happen last week or last month or even last year. This has been a few years this has been sitting like this. Yeah, four or five so, years. Yeah. 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 So it, it's it's just not right. You know, that's that's the bottom line. Why should you have to put up with it? I don't know, but, uh, you know, we have to do something about this. We have to work together and band together mm -hmm. to ask the city to take this building down. Mm. Amen. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's going to fall anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not safe. Yeah, it's wide open. That's yeah. obvious. And the one on Broadway that I pointed out before, same thing. The roof is wide open yeah, for two yeah. years. Yeah. It has to, everything has to be rotted in there. It's going to fall. It could hurt somebody. Somebody could get killed. I don't get it. Like I said, I'm puzzled. That's the best thing I could say. Just puzzled with this stuff. But I got money for everything else, seems like. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, How I, many I brought people up use before. the golf course? Yeah, yeah. And... And, you know, it's self-sustaining right now, the golf course. It's doing okay. Can it use improvements? Maybe. I don't know. I know golf, so I don't know. But right now on the priority list, I would think this is a priority and not irrigation at the golf course. And That's the part I don't understand. You know, that, And the streets. And Yes, yeah. the streets, definitely yeah. the streets. Yes, definitely. That's, an, that's another priority. You know, the graffiti is a priority. Everything. This house has it all. It shows you everything that's going on. You know, it's been tagged, it's burnt out, and it just sits here. And nothing's being done about it. So I'm disappointed, and I'm sure you are too. Yeah, it's a shame. Shame yeah. for the city. Yeah. Well, once a month they come and cut the grass, but it doesn't help yeah. the, the yeah. building any. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. And I don't know what the holdup is. I, st I still don't understand what it can be. But certainly I'll ask the questions I've been. And no, I'll, taxes I'll are high enough, it. right? No, they sure are. They're pretty high. So. They sure are. That's what people talk about. We have a new budget coming out by October 1st. It's supposed to be proposed. So I'm interested to see what, what that's going to contain and, not, and how, what it's going to look like and how it's going to impact us for living in the city. The only way to build a tax base is to get new people moving in. Why would anybody want to move in, you know, when you have something like this in your neighborhood? It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I'm looking really to move simple. out. Yeah, Actually, there you myself, go. You know. There you go. Well, that's what I find is people are voting with their feet now. Yeah. They're not voting with anything else. They voting with their feet means they're moving out. Yeah. You know, because they don't see any change. We've been promised change by our elected people. They said they were going to help in the neighborhoods years ago. I've been hearing this. I did run again, uh, or run before five years ago, and that was the promises made then. We're going to address the neighborhoods. Well, it's 2011. This isn't addressed. So, 
I don't know what to say. I guess there's a lot of buildings like this. From what I there's a lot. There's, there's a, a lot, lot in the city, yes. And a lot of it is arson because of the way things are. That's what I taught, taught the fire, fire people. They say there's a lot of arson in the city because the values of the houses drop so much, the best way out is people have it burned. You know, that's what they do. And there's a lot of arson cases. So it's not a good situation, but we have to make changes. The mindset of people in this city has changed. I mean, when I grew up, and I'm sure when you grew up, we were taught in school and taught by our parents that it wasn't a nice thing to, to litter people's property. This is city exactly. property here, and it's littered and it's awful. Just something that's disgusting. And you said people that were working here, they just left it here? Yeah. I just happened to look, yeah. and I saw them putting that down. Wow. Yeah. That is I just amazing. Yeah. Anybody with good conscience wouldn't do that. So we have to change yeah. the mindset of people that are living in the city. Yeah. And I think it has to start with the very young. We have to start teaching them in school, like we were taught in school, to be a good neighbor. Right. That's all it is, to be a good neighbor. Don't bother people with loud music. Don't bother people with littering. Right. Don't bother people with graffiti. Let them live peaceably. You know, you know the old, yeah. the golden rule certainly Re holds true. Respect. Do unto others. Uh, yes, I yeah. do unto you. Just and we have to change that. And it has to start with people very young. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen overnight, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But we have to have people take pride back in our city again because it's sad. And like you said, you know, you're thinking about moving out. I can understand that. That's what a lot of people have done. It's, it's really sad. It's yeah. really sad. And that's our house in the yeah. corner, and we've been rebuilding the porch that was yeah. falling down. I yeah. mean, we are trying to keep it up nice. Yeah, I know. You know? It's, it's a very nice yeah. house. You keep it up yeah. very nice. Yeah. You keep it up very nice. And there that's it is. It's a daily job yeah. around here. Yeah, yeah right? I know. I know. It's, and it's quite a quite a difference between your house yeah. and a hundred yards away, right. we have this house. So there's something wrong. That's just something wrong and it shouldn't be. I feel sorry for the old people. They got no option. I know. I know. They're on a fixed income. They can't get out of here. They can't. They're mm -hmm. locked into their homes. Yeah. That's just what they are. I, I, I fall nice. under that. I they, fall under that too. They We're, keep their houses nice in. and neat. Yeah. And what doesn't happen anymore, like in my day, was the house passed on to generations. Usually, yeah. you know, right. if, if the if like one I, the, there you go, yeah. there you go, yeah. and that's the same. The house that I grew up in, my son lives in now, but that's not happening now because people don't want to take on the house. They just sell it, get whatever they can, yeah. and, and, and get out. That's what they do. So if their parents pass away or their grandparents pass away, they take the money and they stay where they are. Yeah. That's change. See, that has to change also. There's just so many things, but it starts at at the bottom level. You know, you, we can't have the crime, we can't have the graffiti, we can't have the quality of life issues that we, we're dealing with right now. It's just simple. To me, the solution is simple. You know, you got to stop all this stuff that's going on. Whatever it takes to stop it, we've got to direct the police force to say, this isn't good, we can't litter, we can't graffiti, we can't do any of these things that are bothering people. That's what it comes to. We can bring the city back, but it's going to take a lot of work. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure.